Arthur Duganet's private collection. Berlin's gallery weekend provides a rare opportunity to see it. And there's a lot of interest, even though this weekend's packed with plenty of other art events around the city. You don't often get the opportunity to come into this place and get shown around personally by the collector. That's something pretty special. They have direct communication with the artists. So what we listen here is, is actually stuff that we cannot really read on the books. Since 2006, this loft in a former jam factory on the River Spree has housed Arthur de Garnet's contemporary photography collection. The architect has selected the works to go with the rooms, not the other way around. He tells us that right from the start. It's a very controversial way to do it, but for me it all goes together. The artworks also have to do with the way they're shown. The presentation of the artwork affects your perception of it. Duganet collects exclusively landscape and architectural photos with no people in them. He says people would detract from the composition. As in this picture of the Cologne Cathedral by German photographer Thomas Stutt. The collection also includes three works by Japanese photographer Hiroshi Sugimoto, all of them hand-developed. Eighteen works are on display for the tour, almost all of them by well-known photographers. In my case, I pick the works pretty much by myself, but I'm happy to get some positive feedback before I make the final decision. Otherwise, I wait for approval after the purchase, once the picture is hanging here. But, of course, that's more risky. He and his wife are also out and about on Gallery Weekend. Perhaps he'll even find an artist he's interested in buying from. De Garnet has known the director of the Sprut Magos Gallery for years, and he's interested in the works here. Even if they feature too many people to fit in with his collection. The point is to get the idea of a work across and to explain it. Convincing is something the work has to do on its own. Often you're vaguely familiar with an artist, and you think, sure, I know that name. But in fact, you only know a fraction of their work. And it's the job of collectors and gallery owners to make it better known. That can be very time-consuming. Galleries appreciate when their customers have clear concepts for their own collections. Then they can help fill in the gaps. For us, the most important thing is to have a genuine collector. Nowadays, the business is so fast-paced, and unfortunately, art has become something of a second currency with a lot of speculation. For the artists and for us, that kind of thing is less attractive. The next stop is the Kicken Gallery. Duganet wants to take a look at the vintage photographs. There's plenty to discover, and that's what I do. But there are many other collectors who do the same, and I get there too late. As a new collector, I'd rather concentrate on contemporary works. And he knows how to show off his collection. Like this image of Mars, colored by Thomas Ruff, who owns the rights. Arthur Duganet is a collector with a highly subjective view of the art of photography. Thank you for your attention. And that is what makes his collection so exciting.